Located at the top of Wisconsin, Bayfield County is considered by many of the locals to be the wild side of the dairy state. This is a place of majestic beauty with national treasures that include the Apostle Islands, the natural wonders of its sea caves, and rugged sandstone cliffs that frame the clear waters of Lake Superior. This is Bayfield County Wild. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Nancy Christopher, along with my co-host, Mary Motif, Director of Bayfield County Tourism. Hi, Mary. Hi, Nancy. You know, this may not sound so wild. We're going to be talking about historic sites, but there's a lot of really interesting history and culture in this area. So tell us a little bit about some of the things we can find. Sure. History really permeates this area. I mean, we're just bursting with history up here. And one of the things uh, that's so cool is that almost every community has a historical museum, if not a historic site that you can visit. Yeah, I think according to the Washington Post, Bayfield County has the sixth largest number of museums per capita in the U.S. That's true, right? It is indeed. Um, I was actually very surprised when I saw that at first, but when I looked at it, because we have all of these museums throughout the county, and we, we have a fairly low population for the second biggest county in the state at f- about 15,000 residents, that um, it does make us the the sixth largest uh, museums per capita in the United States. So that is pretty cool. <laughs> so what are some of your favorite historic sites? It's hard to pick a favorite because there are so many, but I can tell you that um, in our Best of Bayfield County contest, the Washburn Museum and Cultural Center won that category of Best Museum in the county. And so that is one that is housed in one of these beautiful old brownstone buildings. And brownstone is a type of sandstone that is famous for these old buildings that were built you know, back in the early 1900s, uh, late 1800s, that you see in Milwaukee and Chicago and even out east in some of the bigger cities. And that all came from this area. It was all uh, quarried here and shipped out. And so we have a number of those buildings um, in the Washburn area in particular, also up in Bayfield. That's cool. What yeah. Is- so that's that's a really cool one to visit. And other sites? There's a new site. It's, it's funny to say a new historical site, but yeah. what they did up in Ulu is they brought buildings from all over the area and put them together into the Ulu Cultural and Heritage Center. And it's the recreation of a historic village. So it, it's new in the sense that it's all together in one spot, but it's it's brought in all these really awesome old historic buildings that were part of homesteads and and things like that, that um, I really want to get out there. I haven't even been there yet. It's been open for a couple of years now to the public. And then down in Drummond, the museum is actually in the library. The library shares part of the building and then the museum is the other part of the building. And that really, I learned so much about um, logging at that museum. Um, and just to see some of these old photos from Back in the day when logging was such a huge part of our economy up here, Mason's got one, Barnes, Port Wing. There's a museum in Cornucopia called the Green Shed Museum, which is right on the beachfront. So while you're out enjoying the beach, you can stop in and learn about the history of commercial fishing and in the area. And um, we have we're just, like I said, bursting with history. Yeah, I think the county has more than 20 properties and districts listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Yes, that is indeed true. And um, I didn't mention Bayfield. Bayfield has a historic district, um, as does Washburn now. Um, And Bayfield, the Bayfield Heritage Center um, does a really nice job of showing the history up in that area as well. They have a nice museum up there. What about sightseeing tours? Are there any available? Actually, yes. There are a couple of tours based out of Bayfield, and it's uh, Bayfield Heritage Tours, I believe, is the name of the organization. And they actually do history walks and ghost tours through the cemetery. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So that is really cool. So if you want a guided tour, you can get those. There are also a couple of um, self-guided tours. Um, Again, Bayfield has one of those where you can buy a little booklet and it kind of guides you through the tour. And then um, there's also one in Washburn. The one in Bayfield you can get at the Chamber as well as at the um, Heritage Center. And then in Washburn, I believe it's available at Aval's Bookstore in town as well as at the Chamber of Commerce also. 
you know, just being able to walk around at your own pace and, and take it in um, as it fits your schedule while you're um, doing other things in the area is a great way to get that little inside information, you know, by exactly. having that. Right now, and I know this isn't like real historic, but lakeside resorts are kind of big up in the Bayfield County area. And our guest today runs a lakeside resort. That is right. And, you know, Lakeside resorts really do play an important role in the history of Wisconsin and especially northern Wisconsin. Uh, Northern Wisconsin is known for its uh, lakeside resorts. That's where everyone goes to get away and relax. And and we have um, quite a few of them up in this area, you know, having over 900 lakes just in Bayfield County. Exactly. So Jack Martinson from the Pine Point Lodge is joining us next. Family-owned and operated, Bayfront Inn is in beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin, between the Bayfield City Dock and Madeline Island Ferry Line. So close to the water, it's the perfect lodging choice for anyone planning on enjoying activities on Lake Superior or for those who just want to relax and hear the gentle sound of rolling waves. Bayfront Inn has 16 rooms and suites with private lakeview balconies and modern amenities. Its on-site restaurant, the Pier Plaza, is known around town for its famous fresh fish fries daily specials, and a fully stocked bar. The Bayfront Inn, the only thing they overlook is the water. To plan your vacation at the Bayfront Inn, call 715-779-3330 or visit online at bayfrontinbayfield.net. Nestled on nearly 1,000 feet of pristine lake frontage, Top of the Morn Resort and Campground is located on the beautiful and peaceful Iron Lake in Iron River, Wisconsin. Here you'll find unlimited opportunities for the whole family while enjoying clean, modern cabins in a picturesque setting. The Lakeside Lodge on site serves snacks and beverages, along with convenience items like bait and ice. The lake's record class bluegill will challenge the most avid angler, as will the excellent population of largemouth bass, jumbo perch, crappie, and northern pike. Swimming, hiking, biking, volleyball, and basketball, along with a game room, will keep everyone in the family busy. If motorsports are what you want, they're available right at your doorstep. Top of the Morn Resort and Campground is just a short drive from the Brule River, Lake Superior's Shawamagon Bay, Bayfield and the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore, Cable and the Camba Trail System, the North County Trail, and so much more. Imagine being surrounded by six 600 miles of groomed snowmobile trails, more than 180 miles of ATV trails, and endless country roads through the schwamigan Nicolay National Forest. Call 715-372-4546 to make reservations or check out the website at topothemorn.com. Mary and I are back with our guest, Jack Martinson, owner of the Pine Point Lodge near Iron River, Wisconsin. It's great to have you with us, Jack. Thanks. It's great to be here. You know, Mary and I have been talking about historic sites in Bayfield County. Give us some history about the Pine Point Lodge. Yeah, Pine Point Lodge has been a resort since 1935, so it's been around quite a while. It's one of the oldest running resorts in the area, located on the Pike Lake chain in Iron River, Wisconsin. It's a great place to come hang out and have some beers and get away from the society's uh, hecticness. Yeah, the hustle and bustle. Oh, yeah. The Pike Lake chain. What's special about that body of water? Yeah, it's, it's eight lakes that are connected, uh, so it's about four and a half miles long from one end to the other, so you can kind of go out on the water and, and be away from everyone or hang out with friends. It's the second cleanest body of water in Wisconsin, actually, so you can see about 20 feet down most of the year. Wow. Um, it's all spring-fed. It's a great fishing lake, great activity uh, lake as well. So, What kind of fish can you catch? It's a, it's a Class A fishing lake, so it has everything from walleye Northern musky, uh, perch, uh, bluegills, lots of bass. All right. I thought this was great, Jack. You offer free kayaks, canoes, paddle boards, and windsurfers to your guests. Yeah, we um, we kind of take the all-inclusive approach uh, with the resort. So everybody that comes is free to use anything, or even locals will come and, and just borrow the gear and go out and enjoy themselves on the water. I think that's kind of what it's all about, is going out and having fun. So we want as many people to be able to do that as possible. So what are some of the other amenities at the resort? Like I said, it's a lake resort, so there's lots of activities to do on the water, but there's also lots of uh, hiking trails and stuff around the area, um, which you can leave straight from the resort. There's hundreds of acres of ATV trails, as well as snowmobile trails. It's uh, right next to the National Forest, so there's there's lots to do, whatever you're looking for. You're right in the heart of the Schwabaga Nicolay National Forest, correct? 
Yes, yeah. And what are some of the more popular things to do there besides hiking and biking? The, the ATV trails go, I think there's almost a thousand miles of ATV trails in the area. And a lot of people will use them, you know, recreational all year. We have lots of draw. Um, there's waterfalls, there's all sorts of things you can run into, lots of berry picking on the trails, all sorts of things, like I said, for anyone that's looking to get away and come on up north. And you also have a restaurant on site. What's your specialty? We do. We we opened the restaurant when we bought the resort. There wasn't one on the site prior, but we uh, specialize in barbecue. So we do um, fresh smoked ribs, brisket, pork shoulder. Uh, every weekend, we've got fun events that go on throughout the entire week in the summer. Um, we do a trivia night on Tuesday, which is pretty fun and popular, as well as a, a burger night on Thursdays. That sounds like a great time. So describe the property to me. What can guests expect when they arrive there? Yeah, like I said, a, a lot of our guests come from the Chicago area, um, Minneapolis area. And so when they come, it, it takes a little while for them to settle into the northern mode. You know, all the cabins, we do have keys. Most people don't end up using them for their cabins even. It's very laid back. Uh, you, you come to the property and we get you a drink right away on us and uh, help you start to relax and enjoy the peace and serenity of the area. I understand you've been doing some remodeling there. What are your plans for the resort? We, we purchased the resort in 2014. And it's, like I said, it's been a resort since 1935. So there's always some some work that needs to be done, uh, but we've remodeled all four of the cabins that we have there, as well as the bar and restaurant. Um, we've added a small campground as well and kind of cleaned up the property. You say you have four cabins. How many do they sleep? They range anywhere from six to ten people. Some are right on the water, literally eight feet from the water. They all face the west, so you get beautiful sunsets from all of them. Um, there's a lot of frontage that you can use with them as well. So we've got campfire pits and grills and and all sorts of things to just bring people closer together. And I know this has kind of been a passion for you, Jack. You studied hospitality when you were in college? Yeah, yep. So I'm sure this is going to be something that you've got lots of plans for in the future. Uh, yeah, I, I moved to the area um, after working on the road, but uh, ever since I was eight, I've been interested in the hospitality industry. My fiance and I um, both want to move to the area and pursue our dreams, and we're, we're able to do that and very fortunate to be able to do that. Yes, and you're getting married in another month. Congratulations. Getting married in another month. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mary, did you have anything you wanted to say to Jack? I haven't been there yet uh, myself, and I'm really excited to, to go out and try the barbecue. Um, I'm wondering, is there um, like a beach area at all that's kind of like the communal area yeah, so the, for people? The whole, the whole waterfront, we kind of open up to, to everybody, but there is a small beach area. We have some swim rafts. The property in front or the, the water in front, I guess I should say, is all sand. So we have lots of people that come through um, with pontoons. Uh, we've got plenty of docks and other things to, to do on the water there too. So Nice. I can't wait to get out there. Yeah, and I yeah. love the fact that the kayaks and the windsurfers, all that stuff is free when you get there. That usually doesn't happen. It's usually an extra expense for everybody. So that's really super. Another yeah. gem in Bayfield County. Exactly. What's the best way to book lodging at the Pine Point? We're kind of old-fashioned, so we don't have an online reservation system yet. But um, you can obviously contact us through email. Um, my phone number is always on there, too. And I'm available anytime to, to sit down and chat with people and let them know what they're expecting when they come up. Well, thank you so much, Jack. Best of luck to you. I know it's going to be a, a great resort for years to come. That's the hope is to, to keep something in the Northland that people can keep coming to family generation after generation. So. Okay, so Jack, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, Mary's going to tell us some of the things to do in Bayfield County this month and give us a preview of what to expect in September. Boy, this summer has really flown by, hasn't it, Mary? Yeah, that is, that is for sure. <laughs> All right, stay with us. The Port Wing Marina and Holiday Pines Resort is a quiet place to relax and hang your hat while you explore all the Port Wing, Wisconsin area has to offer. Lake Superior's South Shore has something for everyone. Great fishing, sailing, hiking, kayaking, shopping, and beautiful sand beaches. Plus, a picturesque marina to dock your boat, a cabin that will sleep nine, and two smaller cabins that sleep up to four people with a private beach down the road. Call to learn more at 715 7 or visit portwingmarinaresort.com. 
Walking through the front door of the Garmish Lodge on the shore of beautiful Lake Namakagan near Cable, Wisconsin, is like stepping back in time. With timber beams, vaulted ceilings, and massive stone fireplaces, this is how an old-fashioned Northwoods Wisconsin Lodge should look. Carefully crafted by local artisans, the lodge features a two-story great room with balconies, a full-service restaurant and lounge, suites, and guest rooms. Lodge rooms are uniquely charming, each with its own private bath. Most lodge rooms include a fireplace and a breathtaking view of Lake Namakagan. Guest cabins at Garmish USA Resort are spacious and have kitchens, fireplaces, and individual bathrooms for each bedroom. Cabin rentals range in size from one to five bedrooms. Each is uniquely different, but all offer comfortable vacation lodging with modern amenities in a beautiful lakeside resort setting. Enjoy your favorite refreshments and a pub menu in the Beer Stew Bar and Lounge, or enjoy the finest Northwoods dining in our restaurant with a breathtaking view of Lake Nemecagan. You don't need to be a guest at the resort in order to enjoy a wonderful dining experience featuring traditional German menu items along with other delicious options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For more details, find us on Facebook or visit GarmishResort.com. Welcome back to Bayfield County Wild. Mary, tell us about some of the events going on this month. Okay, sure. There's, as usual, a ton of events happening. So I'll, I'll just touch on a few. Port Wing has a plein air art painting festival where people are outdoors painting their env- the environment. It's really, really cool to go and watch the artists painting um, on site in this beautiful location up in Port Wing. If you've never been there, um, I'd highly recommend it. Are these pros or can you be an amateur? I think you can be anyone and participate. And and we and we do get all kinds. We get some very um, accomplished artists uh, taking part in that as well as hobby artists, I would say. So yeah, it's really something cool. The Grand View Firehouse 50 is one of our signature August events, and that is a bike race that takes place in the Grandview area, which has a lot of the Schwamigan Nicolay National Forest around. It is a road race and it is um, an event that supports their local emergency services, which is always a good cause. And so it's fun to it's fun to watch. It's fun to partake in. I've heard I don't ride 50 miles on a bicycle. I was but... say, it sounds like it's 50 <laughs> miles. That's a, that's a good track. And I think they do have, again, a couple different distances. So you don't have to do the whole 50 miles. But that's another great event. There's the Herbster Corn and Brat Fest. So again, we love our food centers, centered events. And, and that's one of them up in Herbster right on the big lake. Um, the Corn and Brat Fest is always a fun time. They've got a duck race. <laughs> <laughs> And all sorts of uh, fun and silliness going on there. Um, Of course, August brings the Bayfield County Fair, which is um, our department's signature event. And we, I have to say, we have a really incredible Bayfield County Fair. We have an incredible county fair compared to other fairs in, you know, northern Wisconsin. Ours does really stand out. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. (laughs) Um, we, We have good support from the county We have um, great staff and volunteers that just make it a really fun and nice event. Clean fairgrounds, lots of things going on, really reasonable price to get in. And it includes everything, grandstand, um, all the rides, everything are included with your admission. Um, It's really, really a great fair. So I highly recommend checking that out. Um, And then Cornucopia Days is the same weekend as the fair. And that's a really fun event, too, in Cornucopia, again, right on uh, Lake Superior. And then um, getting back to the Pine Point Lodge, they host the Pike Lake Party in August, where they actually serve free barbecue and beverages. And um, it's a big party on the lake. And that sounds like a really fun event. I've never gone to that, but I think I, I might have to check that out. Yeah, that sounds like something else. And what are the times on that? I don't have the times on it yet, but um, Jack promised me some info and I'm going to get that up on the website along with all this other event info. The Herbster Studio Art Tour is another way to get out and enjoy art in our area. We have so many local artists that are so talented and this is a way for them to show off their, at their studios on the lake in Herbster. There's um, the Grill Wars for Warriors. Yeah, that looked pretty delicious and fun. So this is an on-site competition at Chopper's Bar and Grill down in Grandview. And the community is judging the winner. And you get your name on a trophy if you win. There's a little sampling fee for, for folks to participate and judge. And then that gets donated to a local uh, veterans program. So you can grill anything that you want. 
yeah, I guess you get to pick whatever you want to grill. And um, it sounds like a really great thing to judge. <laughs> it does. And oh. yeah, I, I'd love to be the judge and taste all the all the grilled food. I love grilled food. It's great. Grilling for a cause. Anything else we should know about? You know, the end of the month starts the Apostle Islands Lighthouse Celebration. And, and that's actually what our topic is going to be next month on the podcast. All right. Well, thanks, Mary. We're going to look forward to that. And to everyone listening, we'd love to have you share, review, and subscribe to Bayfield County Wild. If there's anything you'd like to know about today's episode, we'll have links and resources available in our show notes. And on behalf of Mary and myself, thank you for listening to Bayfield County Wild. Bye-bye. Nestled on nearly 1,000 feet of pristine lake frontage, Top of the Morn Resort and Campground is located on the beautiful and peaceful Iron Lake in Iron River, Wisconsin. Here you'll find unlimited opportunities for the whole family while enjoying clean, modern cabins in a picturesque setting. The Lakeside Lodge on site serves snacks and beverages, along with convenience items like bait and ice. The lake's record-class bluegill will challenge the most avid angler, as will the excellent population of largemouth bass, jumbo perch, crappie, and northern pike. Swimming, hiking, biking, volleyball, and basketball, along with a game room, will keep everyone in the family busy. If motorsports are what you want, they're available right at your doorstep. Top of the Morn Resort and Campground is just a short drive from the Brule River, Lake Superior's Shawamagon Bay, Bayfield and the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore, Cable and the Camba Trail System, the North County Trail, and so much more. Imagine being surrounded by 600 miles of groomed snowmobile trails, more than 180 miles of ATV trails, and endless country roads through the Shawamagon Nicolay National Forest. Call 715 715- Five three seven two four five four six to make reservations or check out the website at topothemorn.com.
Walking through the front door of the Garmish Lodge on the shore of beautiful Lake Namakagan near Cable, Wisconsin, is like stepping back in time. With timber beams, vaulted ceilings, and massive stone fireplaces, this is how an old-fashioned Northwoods, Wisconsin lodge should look.